Hi, welcome back to Android and iOS apps for your WordPress blog. Before we get started with the development process of our application, we need to download and install a few tools and packages on our development machine. So the first tool that we need is Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment and it is required to run Ionic applications. So go ahead to Node.js.org, download the package suitable for your operating system and for your architecture. I have a Windows 10 64-bit installation here. So the green button shows me that I can download Windows 64-bit installation of Node.js. The next tool that we'll need is Git Bash. So go ahead to git-scm.com and click the download button. It will download Git Bash on your Windows machine. Git Bash is very similar to command prompt but it also allows to execute Linux commands. So most developers prefer Git Bash over the traditional command prompt. So we'll be using Git Bash but if you want to use command prompt that's okay. The next tool that we'll need is Ionic but we cannot install Ionic just like that. We'll require Node.js and a command prompt or Git Bash to install Ionic. We'll see how we can do that in a later lecture. So this was for the mobile application part but we also need a WordPress blog that our application will connect to. If you have a WordPress blog that's great but if you are just starting out you can set up a WordPress blog locally or on your own hosting server. If you have a hosting server just download the WordPress zip file from wordpress.org and upload it to your hosting server. If you want to set up WordPress locally I'm gonna assist you with that. Just download WAMP server. This is the server that we need in order to run WordPress locally. It contains pretty much everything that we'll require. It contains Apache 2 web server and it also contains a MySQL database server alongside. We'll also get an instance of PHP MyAdmin that will allow us to manage our databases. So that was all for the WordPress part. Now when you are done with your application you will definitely want to deploy that application on your mobile phones. Now if you want to run that application on your Android devices you can just go to developer.android.com slash SDK and download the Android SDK. Just download the SDK, follow the guide, set up the development environment on your machine. But if you want to develop for iOS you need to download the iOS SDK. For the sake of simplicity of this course I'm just gonna focus more on development of the Android application. So we'll be developing the application for Android and then we'll deploy it on an Android device. If you have an iOS device, just follow the same steps. All you need to do is an additional step of downloading and configuring the iOS SDK. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll download and install Ionic and Cordova in order to build our applications and we'll set up our basic Ionic application.